Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and today I've just got a quick one where I just wanted to show you guys some cool packs that I've purchased that can really make you some really quick results to get some great meta humans, very realistic and you know very minimal work. So if I go into my content tab here and go into my packs and I scroll to my actors, click on my actors section. Uh, you can see here, I've got um, some packs that are called Scan Reality. Now these are amazing guys. Um, I've had these for quite a while and I haven't actually used them, but you know, when I was actually looking at them the other day, I thought, you know, this might be a great video to get out there and show people about these packs. Cause you can create, you know, very real to life humans very quickly. So I'm gonna use Jamal here, for example. And if we open it up, you can see we've got a 2K and we've got a 4K. We also get the sliders and we get the teeth and we get the eyes and we also get the skin presets. So we can create, for example, a neutral base over here and then we can just apply the skin pretext to that base and start creating unique characters with all the skin textures. So I'm just gonna load up Jamal, the 4K version. Now you'll see this will take a little bit of time, but what you're gonna find is you're gonna get characters that, you know, are really looking real to life. They're really looking like, you know, the realest kind of realism you can get from a character. And I just think this packs, um, these packs are worth exploring. Okay, so it says we're missing some skin textures here. Um, I will look into that uh, exactly why that is, but we'll just hit okay. And that still loads up perfectly fine as you can see here. And if we just push in once that's loaded, I'm just gonna zoom right into that face and you're gonna see how close we can actually go on these characters, how kind of, you know, look at that skin texture guys. I mean, look at that realism coming from that model. And, you know, you can then start to, you know, mold this and, you know, modify the facial features and get it looking really unique and just really like your own characters. But you can see here, the realism is incredible. You can go really close to these guys and, you know, you're gonna get nothing but perfect lifelike results. So it really is a good pack to look into. They're called Scam Reality and they have multiple different kind of actors that you can actually pick up and you can get creating. So I'll just show you very quickly how we can then start to, you know, make this our own character. So, you know, you can use all the morphs on these. If we go into our morph section and go to the full head, you'll see here, we can then start to add in elements and start to change the look of that character, making it more our own, more unique, and, you know, more like something that hasn't been done before. So it really is a cool, cool pack to buy. And, you know, just to look into if you want to create realistic meta humans. And you can also morph the face yourself manually. And we can come up here, you see, we can start to add some morphs and just really change up this character and uh, make him completely our own and completely unrecognizable from the initial character. So it'll take some fiddling around and you can just, you know, play around with that in your own time and really get that looking exceptional and amazing. But that was all for today, guys. It was just a quick one to show you about the Scam Reality Packs. Uh, there is about 10 online on Reillusion. I'll leave a link down below, but you can see here, we've got so many different kinds of them. And if I scroll down a bit more, I've got the virtual human head Philip here. So, you know, they're really good to look into these um, virtual human bodies and the scan reality packs. They are gonna give you unrecognizable results and, um, you know, really kind of high quality, real to life, realism looking exceptional. And, you know, if you render them out with a kind of, you know, um, eye ray or a ray shader, um, you'll get phenomenal results. You'll get results that you will blow your mind and I'll do some tutorials on that later. But this is just a quick one for today, guys. Really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.